Paula Kristen here from Paula Kristen Watercolors. Welcome, I'm here outside my studio and I want to show you how to take really simple, really inexpensive photographs of your artwork that you can post on your website, use to make cards or even small prints. This is what I've been doing for a lot of years and it served me pretty well so I hope you find this useful. So I pick a day where the sun is out I try and go between 10 and 11 in the morning. That's usually the best light. And if the day has a little bit of an overcast to it, that's even better. So between 10 and 11, if that's not possible, try taking a photograph between two and three. You're looking for some soft light. You don't want to take it at noon when it's really going to be harsh. So I'm out here and I've got my little patio table. You can actually do this on the ground too. You don't have to have a table. And everything is oriented so I am facing the sun. It's right overhead here. Um, it's going to cause you to squint a little bit, but it, you'll end up with great photographs. So I've got some books from my um, art library. I've got about four or five. And I'm going to stack them here right at the edge of the table, one on top of the other. And it's just a piece of cardboard here that I have blue taped my painting to. And I've just put the tape right along the edges there just so it holds it down. So if I get a little breeze, it's not going to go anywhere. So I'm going to place this cardboard in the painting right on the books here. So your painting is actually at an angle. And again, you're facing the sun. So you've got your camera here. This is just a little inexpensive pocket camera. It's turned on. And... I get directly over the painting. Right. I make sure that I get everything in there. I want the viewfinder to be filled with the painting image. And make sure everything is straight. And your camera is actually at about the same angle as your cardboard in your painting. You're mimicking that angle. All right, so that looks good. And I will typically take three shots or more. When I, I want to have a choice when I get into the, to working on it in the editor. So that's one. I'm going to take one a little closer here. That's two. And then I'm going to back off a little bit there, a little higher image. Okay. That's three. Now, before I disassemble all of this, I will go ahead and check, make sure I've got at least one, if not two, hopefully three good images here. Okay, that looks good. There's a couple in there I know I can work from. So what I'll do now is I'll take my camera, I'll go over to my computer, I'll download the pictures, and go into my photo editor. And I just use a, a really simple program, it's Picasa. I can straighten the image, I can crop it, and I always have to adjust the photograph a little bit because your camera makes the decision. Maybe it wants it brighter, maybe it adds a little more blue cast to it. So it's up to you to go in and just edit that back to what your painting actually looks like. So that's all there is to it. Once you've got your painting cropped, straightened in your uh, photo editing program, save it as a JPEG and you're ready to send it to friends, attach it to an email, show them what you've done, or you can make greeting cards from it, or even small prints. All right, hope you found this helpful, and we'll see you on the next video. All right, thanks.